Today I want to talk a little bit about gluten. Boy, boy, I hear so much about that and when I see patients, one of the first things they're excited to tell me is I'm gluten free and uh, you know, I love patients' enthusiasm. I love people with the intent to do, to, to do well and to do good and I want to foster and nurture that intent. Um, but the next question I ask is pretty simple. What is gluten? And I would say 80% of the time, the person who is gluten-free doesn't even know what it is. So I'm going to make it very, very simple and give you some things to think about. So gluten is the protein source of the element that we're talking about. So it's, again, it's just a protein source. Now, when someone is gluten-free, they've removed that protein source from that item. And the standard element to use now to make things gluten-free is potato starch, which is a very cheap form of a carbohydrate, has no protein, has a high glycemic index, and a high load. So it'll put weight around our waist, excuse me, yeah, it'll put weight around our waist, uh, it'll spike our insulin level, and increase our load to our hormone system. So it's a very cheap source, but yes, it is gluten-free. So here's what I want you to consider. The quality of the gluten is the key. And here's what I mean by that. So if you've watched a, a previous uh, segment of mine, I talked a little bit about the biological value uh, that the government gives on, on, on protein sources. Well, the same, they haven't done it yet from, from my, uh, my knowledge, but the same should hold for gluten. So there's low quality gluten foods like Satan, soy, that have a very low biological quality. But then there's high gluten foods like spelt, aramatha, buckwheat. Yes, they have gluten, but the digestibility and the quality is extremely high. And I would venture to guess in a great vast majority of patients who are gluten intolerant can tolerate the gluten from buckwheat, aramatha, Kamut, and a lot of these seeds, and buckwheat is a seed, it's not a wheat, most people have never heard of because they're nutritionally dense, they're not easy to grow, and they, have, they should be minimally processed. So they're not a quick flour type of a product. Now you can make buckwheat into a flour, and buckwheat is, is probably my number one if you had to go out and try to see if you could handle the gluten, I would recommend buckwheat and here's why. Buckwheat is actually a fruit seed. Look it up on Wikipedia, Google it. So it has nothing to do with wheat at all. And one of the reasons, and I researched this diligently because I was quite shocked years ago. One of the reasons that they're not changing the name from buckwheat to buckseed is they're saying it will confuse too many people. So if you're going to try a high quality gluten protein product, buckwheat is the way to go in my opinion. And how do you have that? Well, you can make a hot cereal with buckwheat groats, G-R-O-U-T-S, which is almost an oatmeal consistency. And, you know, give, give that a try. So uh, I hope that helped clear up some myths about gluten. Uh, 